that some of these rival fans have the nerve to banter Liverpool after an incredible season, right? And they fail to forget that Liverpool are in a Champions League final against Real Madrid on Saturday. Oh, what these rival fans need to do, they need to wind their fucking necks in. I mean, the big problem at the club at the moment is you've got Ten Hag, he's come in, he's... Listen, you could do an absolutely brilliant job, but patience is required. And while the Glazers are still there, there's going to be massive issues. So it's just problem after problem with Manchester United. It's just, it's disgraceful. Do you know, it makes my day when you've got someone like Richarlison coming at you, but Richarlison, the charlatan, you know, no more for his diving. Than his goals, and then you know to top it all off, okay, they, they'll be upset that that Liverpool, you know, didn't win the league title, but you know should be very proud. Jurgen Klopp and the squad should be very proud. But I got Liam Gallagher coming at me, you know, the less talented Gallagher brother. You know, let's be honest. We were all excited. We were all ecstatic after the Paris Saint Germain game. You know, I wanted Oli to sign a contract. I think every fan did. You know, listen, I can look back at it now, um. Yeah, it's a little bit cringy, you know, but everyone thinks that I've got solutions to fix my United. I haven't. I'm just a pundit, you know, and that's it. Simple as. Yeah, listen, you, you know, you get different types of headaches. You know, you get the cluster headaches, you the tension headaches, the migraines. But listen, you know, listen, none of them, absolutely none of them compared to a Micah Richards headache. Oh, listen, you know, there's under paracetamol, who's in the ibuprofen today. And do you know what the amazing thing about City is? They've got Holland coming in next year. And I'm just going to banter Roy all year. 